inside the vehicle. Uh, over here you have your window functions, your front windows, rear windows, window lock. This is the third way as we discussed about opening up your trunk. Left and right mirror controls. Uh, this is to fold in your mirrors, your, I'm sorry, your right and left mirrors, and this is also this button folds in your mirrors. Your memory seating, door lock and unlock, and of course the door handle. Uh, you have your 14, uh, your uh, eight-way seat system, which does your front portion of the bottom of your seat, back and forth, lumbar controls. Uh, you have your paddle shifters over here for your PDK system, where you're pushing forward, you upshift, pull back, you downshift. Uh, these, this is for your headlights, it's, it's left on auto position. Then the next click to your right is perimeter and the following right is the manual to turn, a manual uh, uh, version to turn on your headlights. This is your key, so where you, all you do is turn the key just you normally do to start your car. You have your signals and high beams here, you have your cruise control lever down here. Uh, you have your audio controls over here where you can change the volume from this side. You can scan and do everything as you normally would do on your uh, steering wheel that you can also do on your dash. Uh, let me have this. Come on. Just to show you on the car, we're going to give it a start. Foot on the brake. You start the vehicle. Normal things that come on and stays on is to fasten your seatbelt and it indicates the door is still open. The little glittering that you see in the picture is not actually what's going on in the car. Uh, for whatever reason in the video it shows that way. Um, this is also your stereo system, everything that you see inside your vehicle. Uh, you have your sports suspension, you have the premium sports plus. Uh, the hydraulic suspension of course which stiffens up for you when you want to uh, have the car stiffened up for uh, racing mode. You can also lift this car up, uh, I believe about an inch or two, so when you get into driveways you don't scratch the front end of the vehicle. And this button over here turns off the traction control. This button over here is your lane assist, so it prevents you from ch changing lanes, not prevents you from changing lane, but it warns you if you are going out of your lane uh, and if there's a car next to you. You have sensors for that. And it also indicates on, the, on your, your uh, the little black portion on your mirror. You also have over here this button over here just turns off the auto off position so when you're behind red lights the car may turn off in order to save gas so if you do not like that feature you press this button and that turns it off. You have both sides you have the air conditioning I'm sorry air conditioning and heated seats on both sides that's the heat that's the air and of course the airflow for both sides you can manually change whatever flow for wherever side of the car you want. Um, over here you can change the temperature to whatever you fits you best turn it higher lower and you can do that for the passenger side as well too Re uh, reduce the, the temperature elevated or you can put it on auto mode and it'll take it to whatever you want you can sync it to whatever you want as driver and you can also press the button here to have the car um, um, circulate the air from the inside this is your hazard lights this is your front window defroster this is your rear window defroster this button over here turns on the rear wing and uh, and uh, uh, you can manually open it up as, as I showed you, or you can uh, 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 let it ma let it do it automatically as your uh, as you increase in your speeds. This wing will come up automatically normally when you're on the freeway. Your stereo function: you have the tuner, you have the media, you have your phone features here. You can actually hang up and close the buttons here, and also will give you options on your uh, on the com on the display to answer your call. Also, you can also answer your calls using these two buttons on the uh, uh, steering wheel, here and here. This is to open and close your vents. Uh, that is your uh, clock, as you can see up there. And over here, this little button over here, this is for your windshield wipers. Uh, up top over here, we have your, uh, uh, this is the button to open up the sunroof, which you can see it with the one touch feature. Your sunroof will open. And again, with the one touch feature, your sunroof will close. Now you have the moonroof showing the glass. You manually, with your hand, close the uh, roof co cover. Uh, you have the dimmer mirror here, as you can see. And uh, that is the basics that I can show you. Oh, also another feature that you have in your car, you have over here the cup holder, where you have two cup holders that come out here. And you just simply close them up. You also have the glove compartment here with your manuals. Um, and what else can I tell you? That is the kit and caboodle that I can tell you. There's also another button here underneath the steering wheel 
that will let you adjust your steering wheel, take it up or down, in and out. And also over here, you have your parking brake, which you push in to activate and pull towards you to deactivate. Your hood release is over here, which I'm going to open up the hood release and show you the engine as well too. There is a small latch right underneath the uh, crest. You just push that crest up. This is your engine. She is nice and beautiful. And that is your beautiful car, sir. If you have any questions or have any concerns, please feel free to contact me at any time. And I congratulate you and I thank you for your business. You have a wonderful day and enjoy this beautiful car of yours. Thank you.